Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukaden 3. In the last episode, we, uh, we made it to Chisa Village after doing a little recruiting and side questing, and now we are here. We're gonna rescue the village from the Harmonian forces. Uh-oh. Mantors are here. Caesar's gonna handle that. Yeah, let's go save the village. Rawr! Permission to land denied. Damn, Joe. You got some great lines. That is a really good line. Permission to land tonight? Kidding me? He's like Schwarzenegger with all these awesome references. Or not references, but, you know, yappers. Oh, you're getting kind of like pissed. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. We're too much for you. Okay. Ah! I love it. I end the blight of my comrade by the sword, loyalty, and strength. Sergeant, let's go. Charge. Oh, who's this guy? Dios. So we're not, you're not going to keep going? I guess they're pulling back then. They're falling back. Craziness. This guy loves to scream. Anyways, it looks like we saved the village. Um, I guess I'll use it. It looks like we saved the village and we get to hear some nice music too. Hmm, those people look familiar. It's Chris and Nash. That neck on Chris, huh? You know what? Let's question her. Let's not. Let's not. Yeah, don't 
Don't bother attacking her. She's probably... I don't know. So there we go. I don't know what to say about that. Oh my kine, what the hell is that? Well, you shouldn't let your rage, uh... Yeah, you know, she did help defend the village. No, don't get stronger, get smarter. Damn it. Smarter. So, now that we, uh, saved the village... Oh, here, here's this guy. He's still searching for, uh... Yeah, tell him the location. Yep, there he goes. So now I think he's gonna actually be in Chisa Village, but or not Chisa, but um some other village. Alright, so here's the armor. I guess we can take a look. No, I, th I think he, he'll actually be... Oh. What the hell? What do we got for rarities? Oh, that's not bad. What do we got here? Anything good? Mm. Not really. Well, I mean, some stuff's pretty alright, but most of it's not. Anyways, this is Chisa Village. This... Oh, wow, that's good. Who can I be equipped on? Nobody in the group. Uh oh here's this guy. Wang Fu. And he's got a tattoo on the back of him. Why has he got this big tattoo of a phoenix? I don't know. And let's pay for him. And there we go, we paid for this schmo. Wang Fu. join our group. Well, just one. What, you didn't know you had a tattoo on your back? What the hell is your problem? Did the guy not know that he had a tattoo on his back? Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, this is a big, huge meeting place down here. I actually should have, uh, let's see, I can recruit another character here. Let's see something. I'm pretty sure my, yeah, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother. I know for a fact my attack power is over 600 while well, the characters... This is Emily. We're gonna challenge her. She actually is the daughter of one of the characters from uh, Sugan and One. I forget her name, but you need to have over 600 
strength between all your characters to uh, do it. She was uh, Ronnie Bell. I think her mom was Ronnie Bell. I think that's her name. Get your mom to join. It'd be kind of neat. Yeah, because she carried all the, uh, all the, the, um, she carried all the spears or stuff like that. All right, let's see if there's any other oddballs here. I, I actually enjoy the way that this place is all kind of, whoops, sorry. I actually enjoy the way that this place is all connected and all that. Alright, so this is the trading house. Let's go back downstairs, I guess. Running, let's see what's in here. This place is pretty cool. I like the underground things. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting how, like, you know, it doesn't look like there's a lot of houses up on the top, but there's all these houses, all these people living here. Hmm. Alright, give me a minute. I just want to make sure I recruited everyone before I continue with the story. All right, uh, back, 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 and let's, uh, all right, there's nothing else here. Just one other thing. So let's go outside. Is this the inn? Yeah, you know what? I could use a save and a heal, because I need Joe at good heal power. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the last episode of Hugo's thing. I was kind of hoping it would be, but it looks like there's a lot more. Well, not a lot more, but more than this one, uh, this one area. Alright, so let's go outside. Alright, so, okay. Before we talk to that lady... And we get metal set two. Do we have a lot of room? No, we don't. Well, this is what happens when item management is is kind of poor. Those two rarity things, I'm actually going to pick them up because they're very good. Oh, these are only 1500 You know what? They're not worth it. The painting I will keep because uh, I want to put the painting. Well, let's pick up these two things. And this is good because it doubles your, uh, your magic power, I guess. So give it to a wizard. Anyways, let's go talk to uh, Sonya here. She's the leader of uh, this place.
Yeah, we saw her once before. And then you now you goes having a crisis of confidence. I gotta find uh, Caesar. Oh look who it is! It's it's Albert and Yerber. Oh, did I give away that guy's name? No, I. Oh, she knows him too. So who the hell are these two? Are they brothers or something? Yerber. No woman with exquisite prowess here. Hugo is always looking to fight. Yeah, he's heard it before, because he fought on the same side with her. Don't you remember anything? Now we gotta take on Yerber. I think this is one of them battles we can't win. I mean, we'll try it, but... of his power? Are you kidding me? He killed the crap out of us. And there's Hugo. Brash, once again. What's your problem? You know what? You just have to put aside your petty... You have to put aside your petty differences and, uh, you know, try to... Try to, uh, you know, just have an open mind and don't worry about it. So you knew the flame champion. Well, I'd like him to protect the grasslands. I'm tired of what people being taken advantage of. But what would you do, Hugo? What would I do? Oh, great. You know, what would you do if you met him? 
Just beg him to protect the grasslands, is that it? Well, I guess that doesn't cut it because, you know, you gotta have some sort of plan. You gotta have a plan. Maybe you can join a, a, alongside him or something. Yeah, maybe we can pretend someone's a flame champion. So I guess Hugo's gonna pretend to be the flame champion. And up to your acting ability. Good luck on that one. You're our only hope is, what is he, Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan Kenobi? Hey, look, it's, uh, Sarase. Sarasara, whatever. Sasarai. Yeah, apparently the Harmonians don't want to be here either. here. Veteran, the flame champion. Yep, veteran, the flame champion. There was a secret agreement between him and the top powers of Harmonia and an agreement of non-aggression. Don't you people know of it? Most definitely. Harmonia doesn't make unwritten deals. Yeah, so you must think the Flame Champion's dead. Know of any secret agreement? Oh, looks like they're not gonna bother. Yeah, how are we gonna prove his identity? Yeah, show him the flame rune or something. So they don't know that he's not the flame champion. Yeah, because the true fire rune would really wreck some ass. Oh, looks like we're going to have to fight Sarasay. Sar Sa Sarai.
Wow, he's, he's talking smack. Alright, so now we gotta take on him. And, uh... Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. We'll see if the Harmonians retreat. Alright, so yeah, we'll continue with this in the next episode.